Hi and welcome back on this channel. My name is Clément and this is the second video where I'm going to talk to you about a road trip that I did uh, three months ago in the US from New York to LA by myself. So yeah! Two years ago um, I had this idea of doing a road trip from New York to LA or from LA to New York. But um, being lazy at that time I was not like ready to focus on something this big. So I didn't go through with it and just went to LA and chill. Last year I had to do this internship in Paris to finish my studies and knowing that I was gonna be like stuck there for six months, I needed like a project which was not related to this internship. And yeah, the idea of doing this internship came back. So I was like, yeah, so there is two options there. Option one, I could just like book a car and a plane ticket, or plane ticket and a car, and go from there, like just fly from Paris to New York and just drive anywhere I want to go. Option two, uh, plan ahead, like everything in details where to stop, where to go, what to do from city to cities and being someone that um, likes to plan things ahead or to know what I'm gonna do and yeah maybe option 2 is better because if I take option 1 I might be uh, missing a lot of things so I went for option 2 and start, I started to like research the basics so from this day um, Google Maps became actually my best friend and I started to make different lists and I needed to know like the different places I was gonna stop to and how long to stay there because I had some idea on different places I really wanted to see but I wasn't sure for the, like, the whole trip so I started with the first list which um, was to know how long I was gonna be, I was gonna be on the road by uh, looking from the different places I was gonna stay and how long I was gonna stay there like the driving distance because this is really important to take into account because you can just like yeah I'm gonna drive from there to there it's like 10 hours driving I don't care I'm gonna do it but yeah you can do that like one once or twice but you don't know how tired you're gonna be on the road because those freeways at some point uh, it's like boring 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 it's really boring so yeah I ended up with uh, 19 different stops like places I want to stop to. And doing that allowed me to start the booking process on the urgent things to book, like the plane tickets, because I didn't want to spend like thousands of euros. Uh, the first night in New York, because I knew this was going to be expensive, because everything's expensive in New York. And also, like really important, the car I was going to use for months. And I had a chance to uh, find a discount on the price. But this was still the most like expensive thing to pay. Especially knowing that in the US when you book a car in one state and drop it in another one, you have to add some fees. And especially when those states are New York, New York and California, which is like, you know, opposite. And once this was done, I had to do a second list, which was to know how much I was going to spend on accommodation. And I mostly used Booking.com to get an idea because you can get the like different ranges of prices from like 50 to 100, 100 to 200 and so on and so on. And knowing that the point of this road trip was to like visit places I didn't need uh, fancy hotels. The goal was to spend less money as possible on those places because it was just to sleep. So, so this gave me like an idea on the budget I was going to spend in those. Once this was done, so like I said, I was able to get almost a itinerary and like from day to day I knew where I was going to go. I was missing just one little list, which was to know uh, what to do in those places. So yeah, you can Google. And I used like blogs, TripAdvisor, uh, and even asked for uh, forums for advice. And I took notes on everything I could find on those places and uh, even though I knew I was not going to be able to see it all. And from this point I was able to, uh, to book most of the accommodation uh, ahead. And uh, once all of this was done I was actually ready to go. So baby if you're walking out the door I'll be wasted I'll be getting drunk like never before Till I can't face it. Oh. Now that I've been back from this 
road trip, uh, I had time to reflect on that experience. And for a long time, when I was thinking about the US, it was all about LA. And I was actually like obsessed with this city, I don't know why. The US are like so much more. This country, which is like 18 times uh, bigger than France, has so much to give. From big cities to huge national parks, the scenery can be like completely different. I'm not gonna go into details in this video as the as it's point to us to share uh, the whole idea of preparing the road trip by yourself. But you can still check uh, the picture I took, which I have posted a lot at my Instagram or also on my website, which is kind of uh, planning this road trip from A to Z had positives and negative sides. Like for example, I always had something to do, but this was like maybe a little bit too much. Some places uh, deserve more time and some deserve less. And as I was uh, going through week four, which was the last, I was getting like tired and bored of doing the same thing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, if I was to do it again, I would like maybe scratch some places and focus more on some other. But I didn't know, so yeah, I'm stuck. On the positive side, this would have got me to see amazing places and some that I wouldn't have thought about it if I hadn't like planned it in my head. It also allowed me to focus on myself as I was doing it alone and reminded me on how much I love uh, traveling and how much I need to travel actually. It got me to experience new things and forced myself to be like the most productive as I could be. Like for example, there were times where I had to wake up super early, like maybe 3 or 4 in the morning, uh, to catch sunrise and also to avoid tourists. And as hard as it was, I don't regret it, because I know if I didn't like woke up this early, I would have missed a lot of things. So I pushed myself. Now that I've tried the whole uh, planning in almost every day kind of trip, um, the next challenge is going to be to try option one and uh, just get a plane ticket, maybe book one or two nights and then go from there. So we'll see. Thank you for watching uh, this cute, cute, cute video and I will see you in the next ICO.